I'm not too motivated on trying to just get oil all over this brand new floor. So much for that. What's up guys welcome back to pipe dreams customs today we're gonna be prepping the bike to get this 1100 out of here what you guys have already seen that I'm working on right now is the brake pedal this is a 10 millimeter bolt you got to take it all the way out because it there's a, a groove in the spline here that the bolt sits down in. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook our spring for the brake light switch. I'm trying to find tools. I stay organized between projects. Not so much in the middle of them. I'll get back to y'all hold on. The next thing I'm gonna do is take this bracket off for the brake light switch so that way I don't have to adjust it later. I'm just going to tuck everything in back here to where it stays out of the way. It's a 5mm Allen head. So the next thing I want to do is take the acorn nut off from here and up here in the front to be able to get this foot rest bracket off. But the exhaust is kind of in the way of that nut. So I'm going to go ahead and take this exhaust off. So this is an aftermarket straight pipe exhaust. And uh, it's kind of a mix and match. On the back there's nuts, but on the front there's Allen heads. So these are 8 mil. And these are nuts, even though they look like studs. Or bolts. So the next thing that we're getting after is this bolt back here that holds the pipes together. There's the threads of it. So since this exhaust is aftermarket, I'm using a half inch to get to that bolt. That seems to be what fits on the head of it. As you can see, not a whole lot of room here to be able to get a wrench a ratchet in there. So I'm hitting it with a wrench. Well, that's one way to get it off. Smashed my finger up pretty good on that one. Alright, so this guy's got this little, I don't even know what you would call that. Is that a lock nut? Lock washer? I'm going to make sure it goes back in so that way I don't lose it because I'm bad about losing stuff. But now with that exhaust pipe down, you got a clear shot of what's in my way. It's this brake drum retainer. I don't know. Now that we got the exhaust just laying on the ground. Go ahead and put these studs back on, or the nuts back on. Y'all forgive my absence from Pipe Dreams Customs. I've been over on Pipe Dreams Unleash putting out some fires. I mean, uh, opportunities to make content. Um, had to put a U-joint in my pickup and a headlight switch in that Suburban and uh, put it all on that channel. 
So if you guys are looking at Chevrolet content, that's what I got up over there right now. But that's where I've been. But now we're back at this. We're going to go ahead and try to get this motor out soon. Because I'm excited. All right, let's get back on that back pipe. These are hex style. Here we are on the left side, the rear jug. These come out as a 12 millimeter. Well, I don't know where that went. The top exhaust is held in the back bolt on the passenger foot peg. Crack this one loose just a little bit. A little rust cloud come out with it. set that one in there by hand so the problem I got now is that the ring that holds the exhaust to the head is too big to go back through that hole so I got to take the little gasket deal off take the ring off and then I can slip the pipe down through there voila some more awesome metal chunks right here in the exhaust next thing we're gonna tackle is over here I guess I broke the clip off of this one but it's a wire that plugs into the side of the crankcase on the left side I'm gonna make sure to get all the wires unplugged I ripped a low level sensor on the other side for the old motor not bueno so we got two wires right here one of them goes to the bottom the other one actually goes in behind this reserve tank, so we're going to go ahead and take that off. So on this side, we got a 5 mil Allen head. This side is a 10 mil regular bolt. I'll go ahead and take these fuel lines off too. and rusted. That's it. That's the tank. So this bolt in the back is pretty well cross-threaded. I'm just going to go ahead and put it back in that hole for now and then forget about it all the way up until we got to go put the thing back on. So that's cool. Alright. So here's the other harness. I'm just going to push down on that clip and unclick it. This guy right here. Just kind of give it a little bit of wiggle. There it goes. So we got these two free. Still got this one that comes down here. So this one I believe is the neutral safety switch for starting the bike. So there it is. It's a Phillips head that's been heavily stripped. So we're, we're just gonna do our part, strip her some more, and try to get her out of there. It's a problem I never knew I'd have. 
Trying to figure out how to get the angle right to be able to film under a bike. Whoa, it came free. So I think this one slides out. Yeah. So I'm gonna kind of hand tighten that one back up. So the next thing I'm going to go for is to remove the shifter side controls, including this shift lever right here. The same thing as the brake. You got to take that bolt all the way out, at least to where it's past this, uh, the groove. And you ought to be able to take it off. There it goes. So now I'm going to go for the acorn nut on the bracket. Let's go ahead and kick all these wires around while I'm at it. We'll go to the other side. to get to this other one so I'm going to be using a longer extension didn't quite think of that and there's one side go ahead and put that acorn nut back on in the back so that way I don't forget where it is Got back to you. So the next thing I'm gonna mess with is disconnecting the starter wires because I don't want to hang those up when I drop the motor either. All right, this nut on my bike is a 12 millimeter. Woo, hey, battery's still on. Let me disconnect that real quick. All right, here's the ground. Disconnected from the battery. Should have checked, but you know, you saw I didn't. All right, as I was saying, this is a 12 mil. how much laying on the ground I did my dad's ranch putting this all together six mil on a five mil bolt don't always work out that well there you go, that's free this is the oil level sensor I broke the other one off right here. So I want to avoid that this time. This is the only one I got. I hit this with some mobile parts washer. I don't know that I drained the oil out of this yet. That would be a no. Well, that would have sucked. All right, now we can venture forth with the confidence that we're not gonna make a gigantic mess. Even though we probably will. All right, pass the O-ring. And she's out. I think I'm just going to leave this towel wrapped around it. Stick her back over there with all the other wires. As for this, I'm going to shoot this guy with some mobile parts washer. 
get her back up on there. There she is. Good as new. I think. I guess. Mobile parts washer. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this clutch cable off. But what well, worked? Got explosive tools out here. Like there's like no threads for that bolt right there. So that's been missing the whole time. All right. Let's see what else we got. Probably go ahead and unplug that spark plug. Yeah. I'm actually putting my tools up. I read everybody's comment. So I appreciate everybody that said something in the past. I love all the support that I've been getting so far. Thank you guys for following along. That means a lot to me. Oh, hold on, I gotta show this to you guys. So I just picked up the rear exhaust off the ground. And there were just chunks of shrapnel coming out. God, I wanna get into this motor so bad. Oh man. Let me sweep that up just so you can see how bad the carnage is. This is all stuff that came out of the rear exhaust. Look at this. Look at how big these chunks are. Like, I don't even know, I don't even know what it is. That rear jug is trash, though. I know that much. Man. So I think that's going to do it for this episode of Pipe Dreams Customs. If y'all like that video, press the like button. If you guys want to get updates on our channel, hit that subscribe button. That'll really, both of those will help us out a lot. And next time we're going to be doing our best to pull the motor out of that guy. Mm -hmm.